With breaking news, the suspect in a shooting at Michigan State University is dead this morning. Police say he shot himself, but not before killing at least three people and injuring several more. Yeah, the shooting began late last night. It took place at separate locations on that campus in East Lansing. ABC's Ika Jachi has the overnight details. This morning, a tragedy on the campus of Michigan State University. We're getting reports of multiple victims uh, for an active shooter. Police say a gunman killed at least three people and wounding several others in a mass shooting on the campus of MSU. Investigators say the shooting began at Berkey Hall on the north side of campus. Students barricading themselves inside classrooms as the gunshots rang out. I'm still beyond shook up. I mean, my legs are still still shaking. Dominic uh, Malotki was in a class at the time. The shooter came in our room and shot three to four times. Once he shot those rounds, we waited about 30 seconds to a minute um, and it was silent. So uh, we started breaking open one of the windows. Students seen frantically fleeing the area on foot, frightened and fearful. Run! So I see these people running in my direction and I sprint. I'm jumping down flights of stairs. Everyone's freaked out, everyone's terrified. And I, it's a lot, it's a lot. Shortly later, another shooting. Police confirming more victims at another building on campus, the MSU Union. Investigators releasing new pictures of the suspect entering that building. A 43-year-old man who police described as shorter in stature, wearing distinct red sneakers. The manhunt coming to an end after midnight. It does appear that that suspect has uh, died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And it comes as today marks the fifth anniversary of the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida. Police believe there was only one suspect in this shooting with the motive unclear. This is now the 67th mass shooting this year, almost two a day. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington. Police say all five surviving victims are still in critical condition this morning. It is too early to release the names of any of the victims or to know if they had any connections to that suspect. Now, there is no longer a threat on campus and the shelter in place order is lifted. Still, the university has canceled classes for 48 hours as that investigation continues. Students do come have to come to grips now with what they've seen around them. So we're going to keep you updated with any further details when they come in.